everybody and welcome back to the channel. So yes, you're looking at the American Girls, but this video is about Rainbow and Channel High. So a couple of weeks ago, I did, I think maybe last week actually, I don't know, but I did a huge Rainbow High and Shadow High collection restyle and revamp. There's an entire video on that. And I thought it would be fun to kind of give you guys like my favorite restyles that I did. Some of these are literally just as simple as putting a doll in another doll's pieces. Others are combinations of certain pieces and stuff. There's no crazy hairstyles because your girl can't do that. But I initially wanted to stick with top 10 and maybe have one or two honorable mentions. Well, you're in luck because you get 15. These are my top 15 favorite rainbow and shadow high restyles. It was really hard. This was like extremely difficult. Now, again, if your favorite restyle isn't like on this list, this is just the looks I'm the most proud of. So let me know out of these 15 who your favorite is. So let's get started with number 15. Number 15 is Brianna Dulce and she is wearing her own earrings, Chanel Onyx dress and Sabrina St. Cloud shoes. I just thought she looked absolutely adorable in this and a lot of them are in super dramatic poses because that's how I have them on the shelves. But this isn't anything too, too crazy, but I think she looks absolutely beautiful. And here's the usual disclaimer. The table isn't dirty, it's just ancient. Twins Laurel Devious is in spot 14 and she is wearing Cheryl's first outfit dress. I'm not quite sure whose white shirt that is. And these I believe are Luna Madison shoes or those are Chanel's. I'm not quite sure, but I thought the yellow really brought out the yellow in her hair and it just made her look really pretty. And of course you just pair it with a simple top and some really cute heels and you have this adorable look. At spot number 13, we have my first Delilah Fields without her glasses. She has on her own earrings, the top, or excuse me, the dress from the closet. And those are Poppy Rowan's original butterfly shoes, some of my favorite shoes ever. And I just pulled her hair back. Now, my other Delilah is not on this list, even though she is restyled. One of you sent her to me, so I did not do that restyle on my own, but there was just something about pulling the hair out of her face and putting her in orange. Spot number 12 goes to Mina Fleur and she is wearing Maline Lux's entire second outfit, right from the leopard coat all the way down to the gold heels. So beautiful. I love this coat, the gold dress, everything about the gold and orange really makes Mina pop. And I did have to take away her jewelry and give it to some other girls, but that does not mean she is any less glamorous. At number 11, we have Marissa Golding wearing Mina's pieces along with her jewelry. Those earrings belong to Kaya Hart, but everything else belongs to Mina Fleur. And Marissa in this orange was just absolutely radiant and I loved her the second I put her in this outfit. Number 10 is Vanessa Tempo. This is one you all probably were not expecting because this is so not my style, but it is definitely Vanessa's. I don't remember whose top that is. Those are Lyrics pants and Nicole Steele's shoes. She looks absolutely perfect and ready to rock and roll. As cliche as that sounds, it's the truth. In spot nine, we have the oldest doll on this list, I believe, and that is Stella Monroe, dressed in Mara Pinkett's little vest and shirt dress. And those are Carmen Major's boots. And literally, just Stella completely took my breath away in this. And I feel like this is her redemption for her rainbow vision attempt because let's face it they did her so dirty so she's she's coming back and she's looking fabulous doing it so that is Stella in spot nine at number eight we have the lovely Meline Lux in Mara's boots and Mila's dress I wanted her to be higher because just her in this dress takes my breath away and it's so pretty and just the color combinations with her hair and her skin tone is absolutely exquisite. But, you know, there were just other dolls I liked a little bit more. And the pink kind of bothers me, but you can always just look past that. And these boots look really, really cute with this dress. At number six, we have Mara Pinkett, who is wearing Ainsley's top, Emmy's skirt, and Mila's boots. I love this doll. I have a very serious connection to this doll. I don't care if mine is wonky. Please just ignore that. She was a gift. I love her. I think she looks amazing in this outfit. She looks really good in anything you put her on in. She is the most underrated doll from the entire Rainbow Vision line. And please go get Amara if you have not. At number six, we have Margot De Perla, who is wearing Tiara's bodysuit, Luna's dress, and Tiara's boots. I love the way Margot looks in this. I initially had her and Mara flip-flopped, but when I picked them up, I was like, no, Margot just looks so beautiful in this. 
and I like I didn't expect this to look this good and it looks absolutely flawless. Starting off the top five, we have the amazing Heather Grayson, who I am falling in love with more and more each day. She is wearing a lot of her own jewelry. That is Mila's top, Veronica or Naomi's top, Ainsley's pants and Lyric's shoes. I think she looks so freaking cool in this. Like I said, I'm falling in love with her. I liked her initially, but seriously, just changing your doll's looks really helps you bond with them. And she looks incredible like this. And I don't know if any other doll could really pull off a look like this. Number four, we have another Shadow High girl. And this is my lady, Nicole Steele, who still has Chanel's bow, won't give it back. I don't remember whose earrings those are. It's fine. We've got Heather's top. Actually, both of Heather's tops. That is Minnie's skirt, and those are Heather's shoes as well. I think she looks really cool. Just the way these pieces go and the whole combination of everything with her skin tone and hair and the bow, of course. She is amazing. My Nicole is as girly as they come, and she is also besties with Natasha Zima. Hmm, will my favorite doll be on this list? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Number three, we have Tiara Song, who is wearing Violet Willow pieces, and they complement her so well. And even, like, the tiara fits so well with this beautiful dress. She looks like an absolute princess, and I knew she was going to be super high on the list because I really, really fell in love with her when I put this dress on. At number two is Natasha frickin' Zima in Uma and Robin pieces. Are you surprised that she is not number one? Because I am. If she looks a bit disheveled, it's because she was my traveling companion this weekend. You guys know, this is my pride and joy. This doll is like my everything. And there was just one more doll that I really liked her outfit, just a tad more. I think like the top three could be interchangeable, but she looks really good, really preppy and just sassy. And like, she's better than everyone because she honestly is. But... Somebody else just has an outfit that's a little bit more cuter. That is Pacific Coast Simone Summers. So I have no idea whose earrings those are. That is Georgia's top, Pop BB from OMG's skirt. And I think those are Laurel Devious shoes. I just, her in this is so pretty, so sassy. I always talk about how Simone, Simone's face mold makes her look really mean and like vicious. And I love that for her. So that is my Simone's head cannon. And this outfit is just adorable. And of course, like if I give her her sunglasses and her little bag, she'd just be like so much more, you know, fashionable and festive. And she just looks adorable. And I, I'm very proud of myself for this look. It's very simple, but I love it. I forgot to film an outro, so here we are, like, two days later. But anywho, thank you all so much for watching. Let me know out of these 15 who your favorite look is, because trust me, it was really, really hard to decide. Anyway, if you have not already, give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a positive and polite comment down below. Hit that subscribe button to join the fam and tap that really cool notification bell so you know the exact moment I post a new video. Have a blessed day, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye, everybody.